Hi everyone. So, this ASMR channel wants to reach out to everyone who is sitting at home and wants to go out and march and protest. But, they feel like today's pro-security society is taking, away the, is taking this away from us. So, today I'm going to give you my makeup tutorial on how you can go out in a march and not risk getting recognized by facial recognition software. Because modern problems require modern solutions. Also, use this promo code. Riot, resist, recycle. For the link down below to get 15% off armored boots. Comfortable enough for when you have to run away from the cops, but also good for when you have to kick them. Nowadays, with all the facial recognition software, if you want to go to a march and keep your identity safe, you have to look like you have to look like this. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> But just because you have to look like this, doesn't mean you can be fabulous. <laughs> so... Put some glam in that march. Of course, many of you want to go to the march and still show what you got. So, I will tell you how to make yourself look bad for the facial recognition software, but good for yourself. So, the first thing you have to do is disrupt the symmetry of the face. Go ahead and make some gentle lines. Uh, remember, there will be cups in the march, so make sure to wear waterproof makeup on or ink in case they drop some tear gas on you. Of course, black is always in, but you don't have to go just with drab black. Add some color in there. With all the flashbangs that the cops will be throwing at you, you look bright as a firework. Uh, it's the little details that really make the difference. Now, if you, want, if you want to confuse the camera, another thing you can do is have a shirt with a face on. What features of a face? But whatever you do, make sure it's not your face, the one that's on, on the shirt, or, or maybe his, or hers. Remember to have an umbrella with you. Whether it rains or they turn the hoses on you, you'll still be dry. And then 
You'll pour it down to them. Of course, a mask is always a is always a safe thing to wear uh, to wear if you want to protect your identity. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't make it spicier than a cup's pepper spray. Look at this. Spicy. So, now that we have our makeup on fleek and we are ready to go out and smash in the march, let's be serious and think for a second. Hold this. Those who make the rules make it for the benefit of a small minority that wants to control everything and possess all the wealth without caring for the welfare of any living being. The rules are unjust and they are after anyone who tries to resist them and wants to give the future of this world a better chance. Protesters should, should not have to protect themselves when they, practice them, uh, when they practice their right to march and protest against, against injustice. We make fun of all these things. We make fun of all the surreal things that someone has to do to protect themselves. But is it really funny? <laughs>